Hello everyone, this is Movie and Game Lover 98, and today I'll be doing a video showing my Thomas and Friends movie collection, the 2020 edition, because it's been three years since I still had these Thomas movies, and most of them got upgrades. So yeah, let's get started, and I hope you guys enjoy it, because Thomas and the Magic Railroad, yeah, I'm doing this in honor of Thomas and the Magic Railroad going to be 20 years old in six days on the 26th of July this year in the US. So well, yeah, let's get started with the movie collection. So speaking of that, first off we have here is Thomas and the Magic Railroad, which is Thomas's very first movie, and the movie's gonna be 20 years old in six days. So yeah, here's Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Thomas in his first movie stars Peter Fonda, Mara Wilson, and Alec Baldwin, but may he rest in peace now, Peter Fonda, because he passed away last year. Anyway, little engines can do big things. And yeah, this is Thomas's very first movie that they ever made. I kind of like this movie. I don't know why a lot of people hate it, but if you don't like this movie, I respect your opinion as long as you respect mine. So yeah, that's Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Gonna be 20 years old soon. Next up, Calling All Engines, which is the second Thomas movie, or the first special. I kind of enjoy this one too, but I don't know why people hate this one, as well as Magic Railroad. I like this in Magic Railroad, but if I had to pick between the two, Magic Railroad would have to be better. But this one's cool. But yeah, this one's okay. They did bring back Diesel 10 and Lady, which was nice. Next up, The Great Discovery, which is my all-time favorite Thomas movie, starring Pierce Brosnan as the narrator. Yeah, it's just an awesome movie. And this was the last Thomas and Friends movie to use all models before going into CGI. Next, Hero of the Rails, which is the first Thomas production to use CGI animation. And you notice this has a slipcover. My 2017 edition video, it didn't have the slipcover, but now it does. Yeah, and I have a slipcover for it because it just came today. Next up, Misty Island Rescue, which also has a slipcover, because I remember my bear copy didn't have a slipcover, but now it does. This is an okay Thomas movie. I don't know why people hate it. I think this is their least favorite CGI Thomas movie because of these three engines, and they don't care for Captain, but I don't mind Captain, and I'm kind of neutral to the logging locos. I mean, the one main problem that people have with it is the rhyming, but I mean, it doesn't matter if they rhyme because it kind of puts me in mind of a Thomas the Tank Engine version of Dr. Seuss. So yeah, that was Misty Allen Rescue. Next up, Day of the Diesels, which this is Squid Girl 6's favorite Thomas movie because it has Percy as the main character, which this was actually nice to have it focus on someone else besides Thomas, and I have to agree. Yeah, because I wish they had more movies devoting on someone else besides Thomas. So yeah, that was Day of the Diesels. Next up, Blue Mountain Mystery which is the final Thomas production to be animated by Nitrogen Studios before going into the ARC productions. Yeah, and it, it also brought, brought, brought the narrow gauge engines into CGI for the very first time. And yeah. And I know a lot of people say they dislike the uh, part when the narrow gauge engines run away from Thomas. That's definitely my least favorite part, even though that was towards the end of the movie. Anyway, this is the best one, King of the Railway, which is now the first one to be animated by Arc Productions. And a first one to feature a different writing style besides Sharon Miller, which would be Andrew Brenner. Which, yeah, this is my favorite Andrew Brenner special of all time because they used the new style animation and it looked very nice. So that was King of the Railway. 
Next up, Tale of the Brave, which this is actually Squid Girl 6's second favorite Thomas movie, but I think it's kind of lower on my list because the later ones I'm going to show, I mean, I do like this one as much as the previous ones. King of the Railway was actually great. This one is as good as King of the Railway, but if you guys like King of the Railway better, I respect your opinion because to me, I kind of agree. I like King of the Railway a little bit more than this, but this one doesn't disappoint either. So yeah, that was Tale of the Brave. Anyways, next up, the adventure begins with the only at Walmart sticker, because I had this DVD for five years now. And what's really awesome is that they remade the Mike and Junior songs, Really Useful Engine and Troublesome Trucks. And, you know, it's based off the first two Railway Series books. And this one, and that was great, because we haven't had anything based off the Railway Series books since season four. Well, this is the first movie that they did that. And this came out to celebrate the 70th anniversary five years ago, and now the 75th anniversary is still going on. Because it's now 2020, and they're celebrating 75 years of the franchise. Next up, Soder's Legend of the Lost Treasure, which also came during the 70th anniversary. And i got to say, this movie is so awesome. But my only complaint is that I don't like the parts with Sir Tom Hedge raging on Thomas. Those are absolutely my least favorite parts of the movie, but you know what was awesome? That they brought back Donald, Douglas, Daisy, and the pack, which was awesome, and have these guys as well. Next up, The Great Race, which a lot of people say is considered the downfall, but I don't think this is a downfall, because I guess this is the last Thomas movie to be made by ARC Productions, because ARC went out of business because they were losing money. And but this one's cool because you can you can meet a lot of characters in this special. Next up, Journey Beyond Soda, which I did show as the last one back in the 2017 version, but now this is the second to last one because the next one I'm gonna show is very special. This one was awesome. But a lot of people say the bouncing can get on their nerves. The bouncing doesn't get used that much in this special, but the next one I will show you, yes, it does use the bouncing a lot, but I don't mind the bouncing because it kind of reminds me of the Pixar's cars. Anyway, next one is the surprise, Big World, Big Adventures. Finally, us US fans needed a DVD release of this, and this is just awesome. Although, the only problem is this, this DVD has low pitch, but it's okay. I found a way to do this with normal pitch when I eventually try it out. So anyways, yeah. That was my Thomas movie collection, everyone. Now the 2020 edition because, well, we had to wait for Big World Big Adventures to get a DVD release. And yeah, we haven't gotten a new movie on DVD since. And like I said, Magic Railroad's going to be 20 years old in six days. So anyways, yeah, that was my Thomas Movie Collection, everyone, the 2020 edition. And yeah, if you guys like this video, just like, comment, rate, and subscribe below this video and share your thoughts on what you think of the Thomas Movie Collection for 2020. So yeah, that's all I had to show for this video, everyone. So see you guys next time. This is Movie and Game Lover 98 signing off and hopes for Thomas Magic Railroad being 20 years old. And stay tuned for more videos coming along the way soon. So yeah, have a nice time everyone and goodbye for now and stay tuned for more videos coming along the way soon.